Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about learning. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story. Hi Frederick, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. How do you reconcile with the uncomfortable feeling where you have to stop chasing understanding what goes outside of the scope of what you're trying to learn from a tutorial as a beginner. I often find that I'll be following a tutorial and there are lines or syntax or logic that I'm supposed to take for granted as, it, as it's too far from what the tutorial is try, trying to teach. But I will get very uncomfortable with the idea that I'm writing code that I couldn't explain to someone who asked me about it. However, when I follow through with figuring out what the line means, the process seems to be endless, as there's always a deeper layer to understand. It makes, me, it makes the process so much slower than just following the tutorial, and it's demotivating because I don't feel like I progress when you finish a tutorial, tutorial in 10 hours instead of 2 hours, which is the expected time. So... You're doing a, uh, you're going deep. As I understand your question, you'd go deep on every single line of code that you see in a, in a tutorial or a demo or something like that. That's what I'm taking away. Like that's my assumption that that's what you're doing here. So, what I wrote back to the subscriber was that what I like the way that I like to approach learning from tutorials and videos and blogs and so forth uh, is or rather I would say that this is actually true for everything I try to I appro have approached this way of uh, the learning in general this way for most of my life so I look at learning as a sieve a sieve and basically what I I try to do is that I try to picture my learning process as a as a continuous thing that I do, do multiple times and through repetition I will actually improve the filtering capability of my sieve so to paint a, a picture for you in the beginning you will have really big holes in uh, and you will actually find that a lot of the stuff that you're learning from a tutorial is just going to fall right through and you're not you're just going to capture the really really big concepts like these b really big gold nuggets of in of information and once you do that once your filter or your sieve is going to actually be uh, improved it's going to be enhanced so it's going to be able to f catch capture more and then a little while later, after you finish the tutorial, you might go and find this concept in another format. You might find it in your own code or in some company code, or you might just find another tutorial that sort of shows you the same sort of thing. And now you have smaller holes on this um, on your sieve, and so now you're going to f uh, you're, by just repeating the process of learning this thing or just going through the motions again, you will most likely have uh, find that you now understood more. And then you repeat this process over and over until you have such a fine filter or such a fine sieve that it's practically pointless. Like there's like you're just pu pulling everything with you every single time. There's no, there's nothing that is unknown to you. I have lost count of how many times because what, what I will do this. I still do it practically every single day. I still go through videos where I see that oh this seems to be a very interesting video on a topic where I feel fairly comfortable and in some cases it's really broad stuff so I know that a lot of this like some of the stuff is going to be really relevant for me and some of the stuff is going to be like kind of yeah I kind of know how this works but I still go through it and unless I'm really bored with the thing because that's the best that's my favorite measurement if you really know something when it's boring when it's so obvious that like you almost know what the person is going to show you next, then you kind of just start skipping in the video until you find something that is relevant to you. And the more you do this, the better, like the faster it goes. Like I, I mo these days, I get, it, it gets to the point where I can watch. Like my norm now has is that 
I skipped through practically every tech talk on any topic that is even remotely related to something that I already sort of know. It is so hard, it's actually, it gets so hard to find something which is like mind blowing or new or something like that. And you get like maybe 80% of the thing in the tutorial or the video, I kind of just skip. And then I find that, oh, there were 20% here that was new to me or maybe this person is doing it in a new way or they, ha they have a different angle to the thing and now I am actually learning something and I think that you should go the same way so instead of trying to go super deep when you have a really ineffective filter or ineffective sieve uh, just uh, just accept that you you should repeat this process more than once because if you try to go deep when you have such an ineffective filter you're simply going you're gonna have to as you were saying yourself, it takes a lot of time and you simply can't learn every single detail. You, ca you cannot extract every single piece of information from one single video because you simply haven't had the time to process the concepts and had time to learn the basics. So working towards an idea, um, the, the basic idea at the very least is to get a working understanding of something first let that ferment a little bit and get a little bit comfortable with the concepts that you actually did understand so that makes sense to you and then repeat the process relearn it from another teacher ideally and start to see a pattern that's the key thing that i that i love and i say i really do believe that for most people this is the most effective way to learn something look at patterns because the best thing is if you can learn the same sort of thing or very re re related sort of thing from different teachers because each teacher will very likely show you that oh these things are identical like both these two people who are teaching me they're different people or they're teaching they have different ways of teaching but this is like exactly the same they both say the same thing here but here they're different here they do something a little bit different and then you get a third person oh there's two people who do it that way and one person is doing it that way and all of a sudden your brain which is very good usually at the very least to start you start recognizing a pattern and here you are now you all of a sudden you're actually cementing your understanding of a concept simply because you had many ways uh, you, you looked at many ways of doing the same thing so what I want you to take away from this is that at least for me the most effective way of learning is to think about think about learning as passing a filter through water like from through mud or like trying to um, to search for gold or something like that you're just trying to uh, to uh, use a sieve or a filter or something like that to uh, to filter away the, uh, the uh, filter out the gold nuggets of information to learn from the experience but in the beginning you have a really shitty filter or sieve or whatever uh, and it, practically everything just falls through. You don't know how much you're missing because you simply don't have a better tool of understanding. But you do that once and then you get some learnings, you let it ferment a little bit and then you reflect on what you learned and then you upgrade your understanding and now all of a sudden you have a much finer sieve or filter and now you do the thing again ideally from a different source and then you see okay what's what did i catch this time what did i learn from this and you repeat that process until you get to a point where this is basically just a bowl that you're holding you're just lifting everything up you yeah i completely understand this thing now it's almost it's just boring and that is at least my opinion a much more effective way than trying to understand every single detail from the first introduction you have into a, into a specific concept uh, and I think that if you try this out and you try to go through go to multiple sources that are teaching sort of the same thing uh, you will start to see patterns and patterns are very very good for solidifying a, a person's understanding of a concept have a great day